Now, it's one of the most enduring images of the Fab Four, and it was taken on Plymouth Hoe in 1967. The Beatles were in the region filming the Magical Mystery Tour when they were photographed relaxing in front of Smeaton's Tower. Well, now, almost 50 years later, a new sculpture has been unveiled to celebrate the shot and encourage others to copy it. Spotlight's John Danks reports. They had given up touring in 1966, but a year later, the Beatles were back on the road. Filming Magical Mystery Tour, the Fab Four dropped into Plymouth, the media scrum not far behind. What's the film going to be all about? Uh, it's a mystery to me. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> During their visit to the Ho, photographer David Redfern took this shot of John, Paul, George and Ringo in front of a white Smeaton's Tower. Now, for Beatles fans who want to recreate the shot themselves, there's a new permanent sculpture to help them, and it's one you sit on. A lot of people didn't get the right angle, the right place to do it, so this is a perfect setting now. These are four bums to sit in, and you can literally sit in the buttocks of giants. Music writer and Beatles fan David Quantic, seen here pointing like Ringo, lived in Plymouth at the time and had no idea they'd visited. No, I didn't. I mean, I was six years old. I didn't really know that much about the Beatles, but we were probably just over the road at Dingles doing our shopping, you know, at the time. We could have come and met the Beatles, but no. Now, these imprints aren't 100% genuine Beatle, but they're the next best thing. It's quite a difficult one to kind of put together, but I think what we came up with in the end actually has worked quite well. And your, your models, actually, you, went, you didn't go for any old people, you went for a, a particular group of people. Oh, no, no, we went for the best tribute band um, around, which is the uh, Fab Beatles. Looking on from a bench in the background is Jean Lightfoot, who has a unique connection to the original Fab Four photo. My mum, dad and auntie were actually sat on a bench like this, looking at the famous four, totally oblivious to the fact that they were the Beatles. And I think if they were here today, they'd actually love the fact that, you know, they were part of something quite spectacular. But could this new artwork put Plymouth on the Beatles' map? Some think it will. There's a picture of them outside the Eiffel Tower in about 1964, and there's the Abbey Road crossing. But it's jolly dangerous to try and photograph anybody recreating that scene. It's lovely and safe up here, so I can see that this is going to be very popular. There was no good day sunshine today, but plenty of rain. Still, this fab attraction will be a must-see for Beatles fans, and the 60s message of peace and love couldn't be any more relevant now. John Danks, BBC Spotlight, Plymouth Hoe. Wasn't it lovely to have that family connection back to the, the lady sitting yeah. on the bench as well? Not sure about having your bottom cast in copper, though. <laughs> Be a lot of copper. <laughs> now... Who, me? No, me. Oh. <laughs>